Grüß Gott. It's a German again and I got Jeremy with me, my a good friend of mine and family. Um, today we are at the range doing the part 5 of our Glock 17 Generation 3 modification. Um, we are done with it. Now we see how it how it shoots, how it performs. Jeremy will shoot it. He will tell you guys, you know, if he likes the improvements or if there is an improvement at all. And when we are done with that, we wrap it up on a table and show you guys some close-ups of this pistol. So let's get started and send some rounds down range. Oh yeah, and by the way, we got a camera set up at the target, so we will blend this in the video as well. Impacted in the target, so let's give Jeremy a shot. Think, does it handle better with the beaver tail and stuff and the stippling? Stippling the over the, the extra you know mag well gave a little better control for me. Um, last time I shot so bad that I don't even know if it made the video. <laughs> um, still still not a competition shooter but it was a whole lot easier to control. Um, I liked it a whole lot more the, the stippling, the grip from it. Yeah. Helped a ton. Yeah, I like the beaver tail here. I can grip the pistol nice and high. Yeah, let's shoot one more magazine here and... Yeah, so let's take some close-ups of this pistol. Uh, what we did is basically we changed out the barrel, uh, zero coated it, changed the entire frame, uh, extended it with a mag roll, put a beaver tail on. Um, we added a flashlight. Flashlight has two benefits. First of all, at night, you know, if it's dark, you can find your target easier. And second, which most people don't consider, it helps a lot with follow-up shots uh, because you're adding weight underneath the muscle so it keeps the muscle down and you can shoot faster if you make double taps and stuff like that. So let's load up the magazines and shoot some steel with it. <laughs>
Chris Scott. So we are back from the range with our Glock 17. Um, obviously we safety checked it before we started the video. So we shot it today after we final assembled the entire gun back together. Um, you can watch you know part one, two, three and four to see exactly what we did it, how we did it and what parts we have selected. Uh, quick one town so we basically we changed out the barrel uh, we decided to use a silencer co with a half by 28 uh, threaded muscle I made a nice custom thread protector for it just to stand out a little bit um, we put in a tungsten guide rod um, reason being I like to have weight in front of the muscle so it really helps with double taps and quick follow-up shots because your muscle just doesn't rise as much as with the original plastic guide rod. That's the second reason. The original guide rod is made out of plastic. Um, I think if something will fail on a Glock it will be the guide rod. Um, as several other YouTube people have proven if they shoot a large amount of rounds continuously the guide rod starts melting away. Will not happen with this one now. What else did we do? We changed out the connector. So we have a nice three and a half pound trigger pull. Um, we put on an extended magazine release just because I do not like uh, to you know change my grip when I shoot a pistol. Uh, my thumb is right there and I can drop the magazine free. Um, me personally I have problems with clocks. I always have to twist my hand around uh, I don't like that so I eliminated this issue with the extended Mac release also people with larger hands they get what's called slide bite when the slide goes back sometimes it will bite you right in here between your index finger and your thumb so we added a beaver tail um, I wanted this gun to look custom and professional so we decided on permanently installing a beaver tail and blend it into the grip and with the stipplings that Jeremy did um, it blended really nicely and you can hardly tell that the beaver tail is a separate piece. Also um, we installed a magwell, not really with the sole purpose of opening up the mag well for faster, faster reloads to easier insert your magazine. The main reason why we selected a magazine well is it extends the grip and it just gives you a nice solid grasp on this gun. Um, obviously and of course we made a trigger undercut and a secondary undercut for your um, support hand index finger to ride underneath. Because we installed a threaded barrel we did go with suppressor height sights so you still can aim and use your sights with a suppressor attached and also um, we put on a stream light um, weapon light. One reason obviously is you have a flashlight with you but one of the big reasons I like flashlights on my guns is the fact that they do add weight right underneath your barrel which also prevents excessive muscle rise. So um, Jeremy and I we shot it today. I think it don't know if it performed better it for sure was easier to handle. Um, the stippling and all the grip modifications really helped with it. Um, I'm pretty sure that the silencer co barrel will be better than the factory uh, Glock barrel, but I couldn't tell you, I don't know. We just did it because we wanted this gun to be a suppressor host. So Jeremy, what what is your favorite thing now that we did on this gun? What, what do you like or what do you don't like? I think, I think for me, I've got a fairly big hand. So having the, the magazine well down here was really good for me because it gave my, my pinky somewhere to rest and stop without having a chance to slide off. 
like a lot of smaller frame guns and even even a full frame gun that has no taper at the bottom it it just it, it gave me a good firm grip I felt comfortable with it um, having having the oversized beaver tail allowed my pinky to kind of also yep. support and you press can up ride up further so I can I can grip the pistol a lot higher without having to worry about anything yeah um, I mean you can see you might be able to see in this video I'm pushing up as high as I can and I've got no chance for the side bite with that beaver tail on there yeah so this being the last part of this little project um, to be honest neither of us are huge Glock fans um, but honestly Glocks are perfect and very reliable pistols we just don't prefer it for different reasons. I just don't like striker fired pistols. I prefer a hammer. Um, but that's how I was trained. Um, Jeremy is a big Smith and Wesson M&P fan, which I actually would pick above a Glock any day as well. Um, but after all these mods, I really think I could, you know, call this one a combat handgun. Um, it runs nice, it feels good, solid grip. I mean, the grip is just amazing. It looks good, very aggressive. I mean, Jeremy did a did an outstanding job on that. It took him a little bit over one and a half hours to, you know, finish this project. Um, awesome pistol. So we engraved our Snipe Custom Arms logo in the left side of the slide, and we engraved, which is unusual, our website in the right side. Reason being, we don't want this pistol. So the pistol will be for sale um, and a lot cheaper than buying all the parts and a Gen 3 or Gen 4 clock and putting it together yourself. Um, it will be way lower than anybody else could duplicate this pistol. It's more of an advertising for us, uh, A for the YouTube ch channel and B for our company. Snipe custom arms, we, we do precision firearms to 99% bolt action rifles for long range shooting. Uh, me being a former sniper in the German military, it's just, that's what I do, that's what I love. But we thought, hey, let's start out and try to do some customized pistols as well. So if you, you know, like this pistol or you would see a greater detail of pictures, we will blend some in this video as you you know already noticed but if you want to see more detailed pictures about these pistols go to our website uh, snipearms.com that's the same place you could purchase this gun um, price i don't know i need to think about that i don't want to lose too much money but i want to give it away for way less and like i said anybody else could duplicate this gun so if you like this video Click the subscribe button below, uh, follow us on Facebook, you will see some sneak peeks and uh, product reviews and upcoming events we do, like you know, long range shooting events where everybody is welcome. Um, yeah. Instagram. We're on yeah, Instagram. Instagram. I almost forgot Instagram. We don't do the Twitter thing, so don't even try to find us there. Yeah. So, have a good day and thanks for watching.